right. Let's see here. Time for a little Valheim tonight. Just got started. Uh, just hang out a little bit. Some peeps get on. Got like five minutes before I start. I, I was trying to get started a little bit earlier tonight, but I forgot to set up all kinds of stuff, so I had to get that stuff set up. And I think tonight is going to be... Well, well, I'm not too sure what it's going to be, but it might be just a building night tonight. I will go into the live stream holding area, or the uh, invite only area, see if anybody wants to join. I, don't, I have no idea if, if anybody's going to join tonight. I know vid guy's out. He's doing something. I don't know if DBA is doing anything or not. And then I don't know if there is anybody else doing anything, but uh, we'll see what's going on. I do want to spend a little bit of time, like I said, um, trying to get some some work done on this building because I left this building and, and never finished it, and I feel bad about that. And I do want to do a little bit of work. DBA, what's up? What up, Home Spice? Unable to play but watching? Sure, no problem. Like I said, I'm just I'm gonna build tonight. I'm gonna do some building stuff. I need to move some stuff out of the way. Let's see. Probably gonna put a bed down here. I I, I need to look at upstairs too and see what upstairs is all about. Need to fix some of these. I think fix some of the room areas. Oh my god, who is, who is this? I forgot whose beds these were. This is vids. Oops. This was vids. I don't know if he's using that room or not. This is uh, bone crushers. Live, laugh, crush. Nice. And then I need to go back into my little area and <laughs> try to do my little area. Some stuff in here. I think it's left some garbage in here. Alright, plan is to do a little bit of building. Maybe I'll do I don't know. I might do creative. I might not do creative. We'll see how that all plays out. Um, I do, let me just get ready just in case we have some sort of raid stuff going on. Let me just make sure that I have food available and ready to go. We've got armor that's ready to go. I've got weapons that are ready to go. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to see any type of raids. I bet you I will though. Um, let's just put this stuff off to the side. I've got some garbage laying around here from last time I played. All right, let me go ahead and move this. I need to move this wood over. I'm going to make a temporary... Um, chest to hold this wood. Cause it's been so long since I played this game. I'm glad the server's still up and running though. I was a little concerned that the server was gonna be kaput or having issues, but I guess Vid would have told me. I don't know how the game's been playing, you know, since the last time I played. If it's been more stabilized, if it, the server's been more stable, if they've addressed any of the, the networking code at all. I have no idea if, if any of that has gone on. Uh, I don't really care about night too much unless we get hit, and then I do want to uh, try to fix some of this stuff up. I... 
You know, if it gets too dark in here, I might, I might just sleep. You know what? Let me just sleep. Get taken care of. And then that way, at least I have daylight, right? Coming through the windows. Oh, let me flip over to the, the game stream. I do have a little bit of bread that I've been eating. I, I don't want to really eat too much food. I do want some stamina for, for being able to build, but, you know, other than that, I really don't care that much about food. Let's go back and fix this issue. Of course, unless I get a raid or some sort, and then, then I'm really going to care about food. So I don't... Yeah, I didn't get this angle right. Let's, uh, let's try to get... This little thing, oops, wrong one. Let's try to get this little thing down in the correct spot. I think it was really tricky to place. Yeah, I really needed to place it this direction. Ah, oh, right, right. Is that the reason why I should have left it? Yeah, I think it looked better if I left it. Dang it. Uh, how did I get it in there to begin with? Man, too bad it overflows. Yeah, that that's the way that it's supposed to go, but it's supposed to sit on this side. That's how I had it. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna put it back there. I like I said, at least it looked somewhat decent. It wasn't peeking out. You know, it's weird that I got this side right. Ah, oh, damn it. I got this other side correct, but I didn't get Like that one attached correctly? Is that a full piece? That might be a full piece. Hold on, let me see if I did this right here. What if I do this? What if I put down a full piece? didn't work the way that I expected that to work. No, see, it still pops out. It popped out the other side. That's weird. That's weird that one side lined up and the other side didn't line up. I wonder if that's because... Well, I don't know the reason why that would be. I'm just gonna leave it offset. You know, to, uh, so be it. So be it. Okay, I had one in the center like this. And then we went... Uh, let's build off of this piece. I think the angle was like, was like this, right? Did it go three up? How did it go? No, it went off the, the V there. I think it's because of where the fireplace is. Or the, the, yeah, the hearth. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think the position of the hearth is uh, causing the problem on the other side. Yes. Okay. All right. And then let's see. I had... How many did I go? One, so this is one, two, three, four. So four... Sorry, I'm doing this in my head. Okay, so that's three. Was that, I counted the last one, right? The first one? Did I count the first one? One, two, three, four. And so if I count this one, two, three, four, good. And then we flip this around. To be something like this. And then what was the other design over here? Uh, yeah, interweaving weird crossy things. Something like, something like that, right? Yes, but this side does not line up the way that I expected it to line up. Oh my god. Uh, Omega, what's going on, buddy? Just want to drop in and say hi. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. It's nice as a building night tonight. Getting my build on. It's been a while since I played Valheim. And so I figured I'd get a little bit of build time in. Can I, can I overlay this like this or something? Yeah, see the snapping point doesn't merge up correctly. You know, what it is. What it is. Jeff, what's up, buddy? What is up, my friend? Is my angle off? Is that why this is looking so weird? And why did I destroy that floorboard? Uh, did I miss? Oh, I misaligned. This over here is not aligned correctly. Let's get rid of this. The only problem with working with these two buys like this, these little two meter things, sometimes they do not align the way that you would expect them to align. So we're trying to do this little design. I should be going always from from here. From where? From here, right? This is the right angle. Yes. Let's, you know what? Let's put all these angles down first. That way I don't mess them up. And then we'll... Or try not to mess it up. I am going to need some light on this side, though. Nice to see the team went past 1 billion bytes for Astroneer. Yeah, they worked really hard. It was... I was a little bit sad for them because you know unfortunately we've been really vocal about um the goal and when they would be completed and so on and so forth and then you know somebody wanted to beat them to the punch so there was one person that tried and they succeeded uh, to beat the guys to the punch so that they made the billion first by like one day or something and I thought that was pretty weak. But, you know, what can you do? I should have kept it secret. But 
It's all right. Ron and those guys had a great time doing it. Oh, broke my hammer. Yeah, I need to get back in Ashenir. Continue with my series for Ashenir. I, tonight I need to make a video. It's fine, at least they completed, yeah. I mean, I think when we went on, it, while we were doing the, the live stream, it was like, they wound up going uh, over. It was like, I think by the time we were done, they were at like, you know, a billion and a half or something. They were bringing in bites so fast. I think it was ridiculous how fast the bites they were bringing in. I wonder if I had that same problem over here. Did I have the same problem over here? No, man, these all... Okay, well, one or two of them didn't line. Okay, I see what's going on. It's like every other or something. I wonder if that's me. It's probably me. It might be the board that I'm going up against. Like this... Okay. So this is not marrying up because the corner is not right. I had that same problem... On the other side. I'm going to have to fix that because that's going to drive me nuts. That's like an OCD thing that's going to drive me crazy. This one did not marry up correctly, and I could go across one more weave, but that's not the design that I have on the other side. Maybe if I can, can I take this? If for some reason it doesn't want to attach here, or it's not long enough, or something is not right. But that one doesn't marry in correctly, but okay, whatever. Can't ask for perfection, right? You're supposed to be a Viking anyways. I'm sure they didn't have like severe precision tools. <laughs> and nobody had precision tools back then. What's the name of that company that does the really high level precision measurement stuff for woodworking? Is that Ikram? Is that what they're called? I think I did the doorway like this on the other side too. I need to go check to see how I did the door. Um, let's see how, what I did on the other side. Oops. I want to say that... Did I put down like a little beam in the front? No, okay, I didn't. Maybe I should though. Maybe it would look good if I do something like... Something like that. As long as it doesn't poke out the other side. Let's see. Yeah, it's not poking out. Good. I guess I could make a cross like this. Something like that. Yeah, let's, let's do that on the other side, too. I think that would look pretty cool. Yeah, let's go back and do that.
Something like that. Alright, that works for me. I do want to get this finished tonight, so I am going to go creative. So let's do that as well. Let's see. Uh, enable debug mode. Let's do unlimited camera or unlimited stam. And let's see here. Did they have, um, they have God mode, but did they have the hidden mode? Where's the hidden mode so nobody sees me? What is that called? You don't know what it's called. Alright, and then let's, uh, yeah, let's just start placing some stuff down here. I want... Let's put another... Right here, okay. That looks great. Q2 for Ashenair has to be something big. Possibly a new star system. If Joe said it's going to blow our, our Ashenair polygon mines, whatever it might be, it would be awesome. I, I would be really, really, really surprised if it's going to be a new star system. Because they've been pretty adamant. Joe has been very adamant over and over again with they're not doing a new... No more new planets. I just think they have problems with that. I think that there are some technical difficulties or something along those lines. Um, and that's the reason why they're not doing a new, haven't or haven't done a new plan. And it's been a really long time. I mean, we're talking years now. And if they wanted to put in new solar systems, they probably could have done that. I think probably if it has to be anything, if it is my guess after the switch update and the, the switch slash snail update, I would think that if I had to guess, I'm just guessing, here, but I would guess Okay, we have to go way back, right? Do you, do you remember? I, I don't know, you know, how much Ashenir you're involved in. But at one point in time, and this goes way back, they showed some things that were, like, purely experimental. One of them was that ball thing where you can get in the ball and you can, you can roll around almost like a, a transport. Um... Another thing that they showed, though, was kind of a monorail concept. Some sort of train concept. If I had to guess, if I was a betting man, my money would be on the monorail thing. I, I don't know if I, that's right. I'm, I'm purely guessing. Pure speculation here. That's where my money would be. Yeah, I mean, that really I would tie automation all together, right? I mean, we really need something to tie automation along. Right now, we have creation, but we don't really have distribution. Distribution. 
So it'd be nice to see some sort of distribution system. Sorry, I'm 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 I'm, pl I'm placing these things and I don't want to. I'm trying to get uniformed in this whole building here. The only problem with the server is that this becomes very costly because too many of these guys and while the light is great, it just costs uh, you know, stuff to keep resin to keep it going. But I, I like I like having my building really load up. I like being able to see everywhere. But I don't think I'm uniform, so it's, you know, we got four on the sides over here. Let's just go back and look at this. Four on the sides there. I'm trying to do center of the board-ish, maybe just a little bit above. I think that one's more center, but that's okay. I mean, I can come back and fix this one. Yeah, distribution. I, I don't. I don't think they have distribution yet. Distribution would be great. So then, let's get rid of this one, only because. Let's just go look at this side. We don't have one directly in the corner over there. Um, let's also light this up. That would help bring some light into here. So one panel over before I put my next one down. So da, 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 one panel over and then come back over here. Let's eat a little bit more bread. And uh, I can't do one panel over because I did a decoration. So that's gonna be a little bit different, but that's okay. The hot tub area looks good. I probably will want a little bit more decoration. I'm going to have to do some decoration around the windows and stuff like that because I don't really like the way that it looks right now. This was going to be a storage space of some sort. I needed to have some sort of storage around uh, these areas. Hmm. What does the hot tub do? Oh, sorry, man. I, you know, I don't have the multi-stream chat on. I apologize about that. Scary Billy, you've been saying things. Hello, I'm playing this game. Games plays good for me. I'm doing a solo run. I'm looking for motor. Take the hearth out. It might go in a bit better. Is your chat working? It does. I'm sorry. <laughs> what does the hot tub do? Um, sorry, I didn't have it on the on the multi-chat. The hot tub is is kind of a, is a comfort thing. So, uh, you get an additional comfort when you're you're in the hot tub, when you're doing the hot tub thing. And you can load it up with, uh, was it wood or coal? And you wind up getting a, a little bit more comfort. The new star system idea was just in the back of my head, and it came to me, yeah. But my money isn't on a new star system. Like, Man, you know, it'd be great. I, I mean, I would love to see new star systems. I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I really don't think it's going to happen. I would I would love to see more planets. I, th I think everybody would love to see more planets, but it's just not going to happen. Do you get in it? Yeah, you do get in the hot tub. It's like here, let me let me jump in. There's a there's a spot where you can sit. Yeah. There you go. But you know the problem is you get wetness with it, which which is to be expected. It's to be expected that you get wet when you get in a hot tub. But that you, here's the thing, and I think we can, you can have like six people in it. Four to six people can be in the hot tub, if I remember correctly. It's just kind of a cozy thing, right? All right. Let's see if I can figure this out. I do want to do something. I, I wish there was this concept of and I'd probably have to do a mod to get it, but I, I would really like potted plants and stuff. 
so I can stick down potted plants as a decoration. Because I think in here some potted plants would be really cool. Let's let's look at some chests and put some reinforced chests in here. You know, there's a there's a lot of different ways to do chests. I I know some of the guys like doing this enclosed whole chest thing. Um whether it be in the ceiling or or whether it be in the wall or whether it be in that type of thing. I I it's not that I don't like it. I just never got into it. So I do want to put down some chests that will be utilized by both. And maybe I can do it in a way that's going to be a little bit interesting here. So if I put like... Can I put like a floor piece between the two? Yeah, maybe I could do a little elevated stacking kind of thing. That would be interesting to see. It doesn't do anything for the health and stamp. It would be nice if you got an additional point, right? Something. I mean, I thought that there was something that you got for it. I thought there was... Uh, it wasn't just purely a decorative kind of thing. That there was, there was, you know, hanging out with buds kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just a Swedish thing to do is hang around your hot tub in the middle of winter, you know. Personal buff, yeah. I, I, it'd be nice if there was some sort of personal buff associated to it. I was hoping to do something like this. Oops, I had caps locks on. I was hoping to do something like this. I probably can do it with the smalls, though, right? Yeah, I mean, if I go like... This... And build this out. Some uh, I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm experimenting. A little experimentation here. What if I put... Can I offset these? Oh. Okay, here. Maybe something like this. Hold on. Oh, it's so hard to target this way, though. Why can't I get this one down? Is it colliding with this other one? What what is the what's the issue here? Oh, you know what? I bet you if I put like Something like this in here. Now I bet you I can put it on top. Target this little area, yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's totally off. Ah, uh, but it's sitting on top. That doesn't look as good because it's elevated. Do it from the back. Alright. Let me try that. Yeah, that, that looks too elevated. Oh, yes. Do it from the back. No, it's like this... Uh, oh. Okay. 
Who's that outside my door? Let's see what this looks like from the front. That one is off. That would drive me bonkers. I don't mind it overhanging a little bit on the front like this. Is it pretty much in the same footprint? It's so hard to tell if it's in the same footprint or not. This one has to go, though. Wolf, what's up, buddy? How you been, my friend? It's almost like I need something down there. Good to see that I'm back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, injury's no joke, man. And last night, I don't, you know, I don't know what's causing the problem. Uh, I should probably go to the doctor is what I should do. I should stop being stubborn and just go to the doc and talk to him. But last night, I noticed last night while I was sleeping, it started to cramp up again. And I'm just like, damn, I don't want to go through that all over again. That was nightmarish. Placing can be difficult. What I what should I do? I should go to the doctor? Yeah, I should go to the doctor. Make sure it's not something else, right? At the very least, so he can give me some drugs. I think DBA um, or somebody recommended I go because uh, when they have neck problems that they get a, a muscle relaxant. And that solves the problem for them. And that actually sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a really good idea. I would like to place this here. Ooh, dang it, I had it. Is that it? Tell me that's it, please. That, that looks okay. That looks interesting. That looks interesting. Can we put something on the bottom to make it even more interesting? Can we put, like, the treasure chest? Well, it does look nice. Looks a little bit ugly. Can we put another one down here? Move the bottom ones to match the ones above. That's a good suggestion. I mean, kind of, kind of when you stack boxes like this, you would expect it to kind of overhang a little bit, right? If I remove that board back there, you think it'll all fall? It's not going to fall, is it? The 3D placing of stuff is a little bit difficult sometimes because you can't you can't really see from all angles. With my OCD would need to be perfect. Scrap it, I dude. I'm so with you there. And that's some you know sometimes I don't like building because of that. It's like I just can't get it right, and I need to I need to let go. I need to... I need to release that. This... It, the... You know, I see the problem. The problem is, is that... This one... Or this one... It's probably a combination of this one... Is not shifted far enough over. Right? So it needs to be sitting on top of this... Overlaid a little bit more. But I have no attachment point down here. What if I... What if I put another one temporarily... Down. To give me that additional attachment point. And 
And then come back to this. Come on. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's a little over. I don't understand why it's over more on one side than it is on the other side, but... I think because these legs are not out far enough. I didn't go out far enough with it. Can I... Can I cover this up somehow? Probably not. Probably what I can do is put something in the middle as much as humanly possible. Let me get some attachment points on this side too. I, I think these actually overlay more. So let's see, come over here, try to match up the legs on one side. Ouch, should put this... Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Alright. Yeah. It's too bad there's not a little something I can put in there. Let me, let me look for a little something that I can stick in the middle of there. You know, I can because I do have attachment points for this stuff. I can leave stuff laying around on top, though. Which would be kind of neat. To have some items just laying there. That would be kind of cool. Alright, sorry. Let me read some chat here. The monorail idea, though, could be... I mean, we could be talking about Q3, Q4, 2022. Seeing that they already have new modes of transportation like the hoverboard and the VTOL. Yeah. I mean, the VTOL is... It's okay. I... I Honestly, I don't play with it that much. The hoverboard, just because it's fast and it's much faster than walking, yeah, that's something that, while I, I haven't unlocked in my, you know, current let's play, that is something I really enjoy. Mainly because it's super quick. <laughs> Excuse me. Super fast motor transportation. Alright, I did want some storage there. It's not centered to the window, but that's okay. Because there was a little bit of overflow. As long as I can get around. <laughs> oh, I say that, I should have measured it out. I should have got around the side. No! Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Too much? It's too much. See, I spent all that time on it, and I'm going to scrap it. How about we do like a... Just some storage, but then like a little seating area or something like that. Let's center it up to the window and then I'll do some... Oh, dang it. What did I just do? Oh, I broke my tool. Okay. Let's put some temporary stuff in here. Some of this garbage. Oh, let's keep this iron and stuff like that. Uh, 
Oh, since I'm I'm doing this in creative, I how about unlimited weight? No carry limit, thank you. I don't want to have to deal with carry limit. It's not going to be center anyways because of the overflow from um from the the woodworking, I mean from the uh, the iron area, the forge area. I couldn't get these any closer. There's no way you can get them closer. The forge has like a radius of you know, things in which you can put next to each other. And I don't remember putting this here, but let's get this out of the way. Let me just make sure that I can't move some of these items over to the side a little bit. Like this. I, uh, I can put this over a little bit. So we can move that over here. But I don't think that we can move this piece over anymore. The grinding wheel. Yeah, that's too close. And I didn't want to put it in the middle, right? And he was like, duh. That's kind of dumb to me. It didn't make much sense. Am I out of space or something? I am. Just let me have a large chest here. Drop down some garbage for now. Let's go back and readjust this a little bit. I laid this down last time that I played. And I think I was just trying to get it in before the the stream was over. But I'm a little bit not conservative enough on this on the spacing. Kind of wasted a little bit of those uh, some of that space. Put the bellows on the other side. Uh where's my Forge. We could put the bellows a little bit closer, actually. Kind of makes sense. And then let's move the anvil. What was the other one that I got rid of? It wasn't the anvil, it was the. What? I forgot what it was. Um. Oh, the grinding wheel. Thank you. Grinding wheel might make sense out here. So anvil right next to the grinding wheel, that that kind of, you know, that... It would be really nice to have both of the anvils side by side and the grinding wheel over here. I mean, if you're working on it from, a, from that type of perspective. But I could put the grinding wheel out just a little bit. Or the grinding wheel out just a little bit. But it would get into that seating area. So let's just keep this enclosed. Like this. Good, we can make it around all this. Oh, can't make it around that. I like making sure that you can... You move between your items. You don't have to worry about jumping over things. There you go. Alright, and that gives me a little space, right? That gives me this whole 2 by deal to work with. So let's go back to the chest again. 
And let's see if I can't come up with something that is somewhat decent. So if I go half, right? Well, here I could do the middle, right? I could split the difference. Something like this. Let's just do four for now. Wouldn't it be great if they had snapping tools? <laughs> there are some things that I, I like in Satisfactory that I would love to see in every single game that I play. And one of them is like the ability to just snap into things. Now this has to be placed on a wall or something. So let's let's go like this. Let's build a little wall over here. And let's put down a little two by on the wall. Just a little bit. And then another little two by, okay. And that'll give me a position to put one in the center up here. Okay, are we centered? Kind of not. Dang it. What if I fly? Can I place this a little better if I'm flying? Yes. Alright, good. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, baby. Give it to me. Is that it? Nope. That'll do it. Okay, that works. And then let's have like, let's see. Where are the benches? Should I do a bench over there? Hmm. Kind of think a decoration for this, and I'm I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for decoration. You know, the round tables are so big. The long tables are so long. I mean, I love this super long table for dining. That is just that's primo. Uh, Osmo guy? Osmo guy? Did I pronounce that right? I probably messed it up. Sorry if I did. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Um, I can always go with a little... Just for now, to put something here. Let's put a couple chairs over here. Uh, let's put a bench in the middle. Uh, no, let's put a standard bench in the middle. Osmo guy. Okay. Gotcha. Like awesome. I'm gonna put a bench right here. Alright, some place for people to chillax. While other people are storing their goods. I'm always into like these little accent pieces. I would really love for more little accent pieces. Like you just put down a little table with some food and stuff like that. You know, I'm I'm into that type of thing. Little seating areas for people you know, watching 
watching your buddy do some work or something like that. Okay, I want to do something. Um, I need to get the other workstations in place. I will come back to the hearth cooking area. Or maybe I put the cooking area here. Some of these kind of need to be close to the hearth, right? Or is it just a fire pit that they need to be close to? Yeah, you know what? I think the cooking area is going to be over here. Would it be nice if you have different color sconces? Yeah, well, there's mods for that. There are mods for that stuff, so... But I, I totally hear you. I would, I would like to see that type of stuff as well. Let's see. Let me get rid of the stone bench. Stone cutter's bench. I believe I'm going to need to keep the workbench while I'm working. So what did I miss? I have the iron crafting station. I have the the work the workbench. I have the stone cutting station. I don't have any of the um like the arcane stuff. I don't have any of that stuff down. I I'll get that. You know what? I'll put that right next to over here. Let me just move this over a little bit more. Just want to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Try to move it out as far as I can. And then put the... The Advil back in place. Okay, good. Just a little bit more. I just wanted a little bit more room in there. So let me do the arcane stuff over here. The spinning station. And then also the arcane table. I think that would be good here. Also, I'd, I would really like to see the ability to be able to put down like like bolts of stuff. Like the cloth or even even like the cloaks. I'd like to be able to hang them. So in this area where like you have a spinning table and you have you have that type of stuff, wouldn't it be nice to have those these little accent pieces that really would bring out the flair? Let's do a triple. A triple spinning station. And then, I mean, it doesn't leave much, yeah, on the table, yeah, and the, and the yeah, spools and stuff, right, exactly, exactly, maybe not a triple, how about a double, let's do a double spinning station, I mean, that'd be nice to have that little accent in there. my sunlight I don't think I rotated that one. I didn't rotate that much I'm, I'm at th this rotation but okay well I'm gonna go with this cuz I'll futz around with it for the next hour and you guys <laughs> just be like what the hell you doing <laughs> all right I gotta go to bed stream here in the UK all right but well thanks for stopping in I appreciate it my friend sorry I didn't see you chatting on the other side over there try to pay attention more next time have a good one all right let me put down 
With some rugs. We need some rugs. Do rocks locks rug? Did we have done lock locks yet? We could did locks over this way, right? Let's do Let's do locks here. And locks kind of make sense here. A little shag. A little shag rug in this area. Alright, good. And then... What do I want? There's no upgrades to this, right? There's no upgrades to those stations. Night, buddy. So let's... Let's take some chairs. Let's go with the new fangdangle chair. Well, you know what? I don't want to do chairs there. I do want to do kind of like these little benches or something. Oh, God, my nose is itching. Right now, you drive me a little bonkers. I like this just for the color contrast. And then let's put a low, yeah, low little thing right here. Right in the corner. I guess we can push these out a little bit. Either that or push, let's push the rugs in actually. Need some different fur types. Let's let's do this one right here. Yeah, let's pull these back just a little bit. Good. And then it makes more sense to have these benches here. On the outside of this. And this little bit of tables here. I have one. Okay, well I can do that. Let's get rid of this. Let's go ahead and make this symmetrical. There we go. I got a little walkway here. We got a little walkway here. You got well, area for people to camp out and watch you work. Let's put some light in here. Mm. Do we have light next to the windows? We do. So we double up on the light next to the windows. Alright, let's do the same storage scenario over there. I probably... I mean, this is a good working storage, right? You can work on both areas. You could store things for both sides. I like that. Not gonna make a lot of sense here because there's really no way to walk through it. So you'd have to kind of go around it, which would be a little bit of a pain. People will be like, yeah, it's dumb. And they might be right. That is kind of dumb. Matter of fact, let me move this over just a little bit. So 
so that it does make a little bit better of a walkway. Okay, yeah, you can go around. And this corner, can you walk through this corner? Not really, but that's okay. So if I do another storage deal here. I could do another storage setup and then this can be the entire food area. Do I have to have a hearth there? I mean, I know for this piece, yes. But I'm just looking at some of the cooking items, some of the cooking stations on how large they are. Oops, I got to repair. And so I'm looking at like, yeah, I mean, this would be good. I'm trying to figure out how this would be good in this <laughs> inside the building. Um, I mean, that's fine. I could move some things around. You know what I don't have is the apothecary station, and I'll need to do that. The pots and pans, let's see. Cauldron improvements, right. Cauldron. Cauldron. So all the cooking is off the cauldron. Um, I could have a little fire here with a cauldron. And deal with that there. Then what would I do with this? Other than it just being light. I like the fact that I have this all lined up. This is our, our ventilation. Everything's going up there. Should I do the cooking station here? Well, let's, let's see. Let's see. If I put a cauldron down... Let's remove this because it's really not set in the center. And let's put one down. We'll, we'll do a big one in the center. I wonder if you could do this. Can you do small ones? <laughs> you could do the small ones underneath. Uh, I wonder how functional that would be though. Do a couple large ones and then a small one, maybe. Hmm. Let's see how that would look. Would the small ones look good here? I, they might. I don't know that you'd be able to get your food though, right? If you hang large pieces of meat down, you probably wouldn't be able to see these, right? They'd be covered. They, I, I bet you they'd be covered. So let's put a couple down here. Get a couple three in there. Let's put the cauldron down. Okay. Let's come out a little bit. Let's fix the cauldron because it's not set in the center. Okay. And so if I put, like, a 
Butcher's blocks make sense here. Pots and pans. Pots and pans would only make sense if I was hanging them. And how high can we do this? Oh, man. It will let me do it here, though. Hmm. It'd look better on a wall. Man, I don't want a wall here. What about a low wall? Would a low wall work? A little 50-50 wall? No, of course not. Of course it wouldn't work. That's dumb. What were you thinking, Midnight? That's totally dumb. I <laughs> can't believe you're making me make a decision. What is this again? I don't know. Probably wood or something. Oh, man. That is so rough. Why do you... Okay, here. Hold on. Let me let me think about this. How about how about can we do something like let's come back here? Oh, let me have a, the cross piece. Hmm. Hold on. Let me think about this for a second. How about we do? If I go there, can I snap to here? I can. Go here. How is this gonna look? It's gonna look dorky as all hell. <laughs> Come on. my pots and pants. Yes, it looks dorky as all hell. I'd love to see it floating there with no support. <laughs> that, would, that would just be so awesome. All right, here, hold on. Let's put... Give me a friggin' support of some sort. Oh, man, I don't want this big giant piece in here. Can we do this before this breaks? What do you mean invalid placement? There we go. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks like crap. All right. How about how about this? If I go a low wall. Here. And I'd have to build it up, right? I mean, I couldn't put the, the pots and pans. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. Let me try this. Hold on. Um, mm, mm, mm. Can I... Oh, God. Come on. Man, if I could get that up just a little bit more. So I, I can deal with that. I can deal with that there. It doesn't look so incredibly dorky. Of course, I'd like to see him elevated just a slightly higher.
Need thinner post pieces. Need thinner pieces of wood. Ooh, can I place it on this? Hmm. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, people. Can I place it on this? Oh, I can. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, baby. Now we're talking. Of course, it doesn't look all that great from that side. Can I double up? Make it look better? No, of course not. Can only have one. It's all right. We'll do that. And we'll do the butcher block. Can we put that there? Yeah, right in front. Nice. And then... Can we get a spice rack in hanging? Oh, God. Wouldn't that be sweet if we could? Is it, coll is it just colliding with this? Is that the problem? Put it here. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. And then what about the oven though? Is the oven does the oven need to be I might be able to stick the oven there too. Let me move this Hit the wrong button. No, did I hit log out? That would have been dumb. Let me move this chest over. I think the oven's going to be too big here. Yeah, that's too bad. I could place the oven, like, right in here, though. I'd have to, <laughs> have to move the dang chest again. No, come on. Either that, or I put a fireplace in the corner over here, and I build a whole cooking station. Uh, I can do that. I can put a fireplace over here. What's going to happen with the smoke? Let's let's just look at it. I think it's going to go into the bedroom. How badly does it go into the bedroom? Yeah, man, that doesn't look great, does it? Nope. It would just smoke up this corner. I'd have to put in some sort of chimney, something, to get rid of the smoke. Hmm. So look, it's got to be over here. I like him and having it on the end. Is there some way that I can have both of these in the pots and pans and 
the herb rack right in this area. That would be neat if I could do that. Let's see. Let me see if I can get the pots and pans in here. Can I get the pots and pans in here? And the herb rack in here? Yeah, what's encroaching on who's ever space? I bet you it's the herb rack, right? No. This. Might have been that. Let's see if I can get the herb rack in. No, cannot. Even if I elevated it, I wouldn't be able to do it. I could st stack them, though. Uh, let's try that. Let's try stacking them. Just looking for some other little piece that I could use. Cage wall, maybe? Ah, uh, cage wall. Hold on. Let's try this. No. No, this piece has to be hanging. Are you kidding me? Why can't it hang from this? Why, oh why can't you hang from this? I guess if I put a wood piece down uh, here, I can get it to snap there. Over here. Get rid of this grating. Darn you, YouTube. I wouldn't have seen you were streaming if, if I hadn't gone on Discord. Man, sorry about that. I, I know. YouTube kind of ticks me off with their notification stuff. They really don't have the greatest notifications on the planet, and you'd think that they would. You know, honestly, you would think that they would. But, thank you for being here, Valhalla. Appreciate it. Let's do this. Let's let's go... Let's go with that in the center. Which doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you. I wish you just gave us a... I mean, this dark wood pole is too thick. They do have the iron beam, though... Uh, I don't know, maybe that would look okay too? Let's do the pots and pans there. Can we attach the pots and pans to here? No. Come on. Alright, it's gonna have to be to the... Let's do this to the... Valhalla looks amazing? Or Valheim looks amazing? What looks amazing about it? What is different than you remember, sir? Is there something I'm missing? <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> Alright, let's go up like this. It's gonna look ugly as... And look ugly as sin, man. Oh, you haven't seen Hearth and Home? Oh, I thought you were like totally all over that. I thought you were all over that. Yeah, Hearth and Home. It's got a new couple handful of things, right? Of course, I'm not going to be able to do that there because that piece is in place. I probably will be able to hang the pots and pans here. Yes, yes, I will. So if I could get this other piece attached, how would I go about doing that? Um, is there a center bar that I can attach to? Like if I rotate around here? Yes, there is. Good. So we can hang this from here. Of course, I'd have to fix that because it looks smugly. Like that. Okay, try to hide it maybe with the... Ebbs. Okay. 
use this as the center. Like that. Good. Then, can I fit pots and pans in here? Come on. It, it must be the radius between these two. Canada man, what's up, buddy? It's got to be the nearness of these two items. That they can't be next to each other. Kind of like some of the items at the, the forging station. That sucks cheese. No, it does. It totally does. I, I shouldn't have to... Well, that's a little frustrating. I have to say that's a little frustrating. I'll, I'll admit it. That is a little frustrating, my friend. So let's put in pots and pans here. And then let's put in the butchers for the butchers thing right underneath it, which kind of makes sense to me because that looks that looks good like that. And then let's put in. I'm trying to think of where to put in the herbs. I can hang the herbs off the side. I didn't want to have to enclose this like this, but let's do this because otherwise it's going to look weird. Okay. And let's hang the herbs off of one of the sides. Like so. I it looks a little busy, but you know, what can you do? So I think that's good for the the crap. This is gonna be the cooking station, right? I think that this is decent for the cooking station. I will put some storage here. I don't want to put... I'm trying to think of what chest I should put, but... You know, I don't want to enclose it with a bunch of big chests. Because it would be hard to work in the station. But if we put one down... Something like that. And then also maybe on this other side. Put one down over here as well. Or actually we can probably put one on the back side like this for this one. Okay. Uh, maybe a small one. A small one would look better. Anders, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Those big hooks to hang over the fire? Yeah, that's for like the big meat or something now, right? I don't want to put a personal chest here. I'm put just a regular chest. Okay, that looks pretty decent. I mean, I'm down with that. That's okay by me. It would be great to have the baking station in, though. So, let's put that in this area as well, and then... Uh, this is just temporary holding storage. For those of you guys that are wondering what this is all about. I mean, I could actually just trash some of this stuff, right? Just get rid of this, these items. Um, since I'm in creative anyways. Just get rid of this extra garbage. And... Take all of this, and I'll we'll put it over here for now. 
get rid of this and this. Um, get these guys, get rid of this. And this one. Okay. That should be good. Uh, I'll take all of this and trash this chest. Hope I've been well. How how am I liking H&H? &H? Well, as for the well part, I, I wound up injuring my neck a couple weeks back. And I've been recovering from that. Hearth and Home. I, I think Hearth and Home is okay. I'm I'm kind of critical of some of the things in Hearth and Home. But you know, I, I don't mind the change to the weapons or uh, the change to the shields. The the most difficult change to overcome with Hearth and Home has been the food. And so they made that huge change to food and the way that the stamina works, and that's that's been difficult to kind of manage. Yes, you have to get... I mean, the, the bottom line is you have to get used to it. It's not... It's not an instant thing. But if you're a new player and you're coming in for the very first time... You wouldn't, you wouldn't notice a difference. You'd just be like, okay, this is the way that the game is. Yeah, that's the problem with early access games, right? You release a game out into the wild in early access. And I think this is the complaint that System Era had, that they would never do another early access game ever. Uh, is that, you know, when the moment that you make a big change, people complain. But, you know, honestly, there's something to be said about that if people are complaining about the change in the game that you made you know we all have this kind of knee jerk reaction to to new things right, some people really like new things and they're willing to be you know the first adopter early adopters and they say okay yeah no problem uh, most people though are more of the opposite of that and they're like ouch you know okay this is something new that i have to learn and i i really don't like spending the time to learn new things so there's some pushback and resistance to that until they get familiar with uh some of the cool features but i think a critical change like that probably honestly should have been made day one. You probably shouldn't have released the game like that day one. I'm just thinking of games like Asheron's Call 2. I loved Asheron's Call. Big fan of Asheron's Call. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Asheron's Call 2 came out. The game really wasn't done. This is, this is before the concept of early access games. Right? Game wasn't really done. But they released it to the wilds, and then they wound up making so many changes to the core gaming functionality, whether it be whether it be balancing, whether it be whatever, that they wound up actually killing the game. Which is unfortunate because it's a great game. It was a great game. Took out the whole ACDC album. <laughs> yeah, I was banging my head. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. Is it just one of that weird things, you know, when you move your head strange or you sleep wrong or something like that, that you wind up having an issue? Well, that was it. That, that was my problem. I don't know how I did it, but I wound up injuring my neck really bad. Um, hold on, let me get this lined up. Okay, that looks okay.
That's not bad for the new cooking station, right? You got you got that in the middle. You got the cooking stations here. I can deal with that. I'll get rid of that temp storage. Jammin' just tipped five bucks. Woo! Way to go, Jammin'. Been a while. Here's a little donation. Just got home. And went for a little walk. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I don't know why the alert didn't go off in my ear. It should have. Oh, I turned that off because of... Let me turn that back on. There we go. Let me re-up it for you. Thanks, buddy. Been a while and here's a little donation. Just got home one and walked a little. So anyways, what I was saying. Yeah, so, you know, they kind of ruined it. So I, I hope that Valheim doesn't, you know, the guys at Iron Skate don't really change. I, it was a 50-50 thing. Some people liked it, the change. Some people did not like the change. I am kind of on the end of not really liking the change that much, to be honest with you. I'll be 100% frank. Um... You know, I did get used to it, but it, it just... The difficulty change probably, like I said, would have been better if it was added in the very beginning of the game. But yeah. Yeah. So at any rate, that's, that's, my, that's my two cents of it. Otherwise, it's good. Valheim's good. There's always mods out there, so if you didn't want to have to deal with any of that stuff, you can always put in a mod and, and mod it out, you know? It's kind of strange from the old method of food. And what's the new method? And with the new with the with the new method, you have to decide whether you want to be stam or HP, right? It or both, right? You can kind of you can be both. But yes, yeah, so you need to think about your food a little bit more. What am I doing? Should I you know, should I invest more in this type of food or that type of food? And I guess for me, personally, it felt too much... Here's my complaint. My complaint is it felt too much like food management. It, it almost felt like you guys just created a farming game. Too much emphasis on food where... It would have been better, they would have been better served by putting emphasis on something else. That, that's really ultimately what my opinion is. For me, if they wanted to add difficulty into the game, they probably could have taken a page from other games like Dark Souls or something like that, where they made the creatures more intelligent so they they dodged more they they had more special attacks they had something along those lines that would make them more difficult if that's where you wanted to put difficulty into the game and not necessarily make the difficulty with food so that that's that's what i that's what i felt All right, I, I think we're coming along. We, we've definitely added in some really nice areas. Tonight we added in this area here. And we beefed up this area, put in a little bit of storage. We added in our nice little cooking area. And um, over here, I think I'm going to do the fermentation section. So let's do the fermentation. This is centered. Let's do our little fermentation area. We got kind of tired of raids, so we have a server. Hey, hey, he lives. 
<laughs> Buffalo. What's going on? Thank you so much for the tier one, buddy. Really appreciate that. I do. I'm alive, man. Uh, we got tired of the raid, so we have a building server where we don't take down bosses. We have an alternate map for that. Interesting. So how do you bypass? Is it is it just creative mode? Is that what you're doing for the whole thing? I mean, that makes a lot of sense, too. Absolutely. But if you're trying to cheese it, like, how would you cheese it without no mods and uh, FEV commands? What's FEV? Or is that dev commands? Dev commands? Oh, so, okay, so the, the server is don't kill any bosses, but you can have no mods and no dev commands or dev commands. But then how do you get iron? How do you get silver? Silver you can kind of hunt for. There's a cheaty way to go look for silver. But how do you get iron? Those are really the only two. If they found a different way... Like if it didn't, if it didn't make it dependent on getting the boss. Oh, use the alternate server for the boss items. I got you. Well, why not just spawn in the keys and stuff? Why not just spawn in the boss items? Why, why would you need to have the alternate server for the boss items? Unless you're just, you just wanted to play it. Like, just play. Oh, you guys you didn't want to use dev commands. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's put in the fermentation stations. Haven't used a dev command at all. That's nice. I mean, the only problem with doing that on the server is you've got to get everybody on board. I mean, it's a, it's an honor system, right? How are you stopping people from getting on your server and not using mods? How would you know they're not using mods? Yeah, we have a trust system, right? Yeah, right. All right, let's go with this. And we're going to put our... Do, 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 do. I have to kill these lights for now. I'll have to do different lighting over here. Try to come up with some other lighting. I think three is going to be enough. I could do four along this wall, but I'd have to kill this lighting too. Because that would be horrible. James and Michelle just raided channel with 25 viewers. Wow, thank you, James and Michelle. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Well, welcome, everybody. What was uh, James and Michelle working on? What were you guys doing? Were you doing a little Valheim? Were you doing a little something different? What were you doing? What were we talking about before the raid? I forgot what we were talking Oh, do I want to do... Uh, do I want to do four across or just do three across? What do we want to do? That's too high. <laughs> I can see everywhere. <laughs> oh, you were doing Valheim. Cool. What were you guys doing in Valheim? Talk to me. What were you doing in Valheim? 
You guys doing a little building? Do you guys play vanilla? Do you play with mods? How do you guys play? Talk to me. Because we're having this conversation about Valheim and Hearth and Home and all that stuff. Some people that are coming on haven't been on and haven't played the Hearth and Home at all. And Of course, everybody's opinion is different. Some people like the new changes. Some people don't like the new changes. And it's been around for a while. This is not something new. It's not a new conversation. It's an existing conversation that's been happening. But I was asked, what about the new changes to Hearth and Home? What did I think? It's good. I mean, playing with mods, uh, playing with mods with that mod troublemakers and our saves corrupt. So he had to start over. <laughs> It's okay to be wrong here, for sure. It's okay to be wrong here. Uh, I, I'm definitely uh, not one of those people that are a stickler for being right. Oh, uh, that's funny. I, I totally get that, though. I, I understand. Too many mods, and you wind up having a bunch of problems. We did, and I'd have to say this is more like Steve um, did. We had a, we had a uh, gentleman, Eldos before he moved on to uh, New World. Um, man, he created a modded server that was just amazing. And unfortunately, you get to the point where it's just like, either an update happens or it, it something goes wrong. It's just too many items for communication and, and the whole game just goes, what? What are you doing? So this is, Quasi vanilla. I'll say quasi vanilla because it is vanilla with just a limited number of mods. Very limited number of mods. Stuff to help you build if you wanted to be building. And you know, nothing nothing too crazy. I I love playing with epic loot and creature and level loot control. But, I mean, we had a server going with epic loot that was incredible. I mean, the buildings were incredible. Everybody was doing a lot of great work doing buildings and stuff. But then it just got to be too much. I, I think the communication level with all the items that were in there just got to be too much. And we started seeing desync issues like you would not believe. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything. The desync was so bad. Couldn't have more than like three people adventuring at a time in in the same group, like together. Because it would just be problematic. Ooh, dang it. Got rid of that piece there. Yeah, so I'm just working on this is they call this the arc because it kinda looks like an arc from the outside. And I started it in creative, or not, I started it in vanilla, and then um, ultimately moved over to creative because it was just taking so long to build these uh, these pieces. But our, our little team, they, we've got, you know, some people that really like doing the creative thing. They don't mind going and spending the time to get the items. Digging up a, a mountain to get all the stone that they need or what have you. All right, lighting for this is going to be interesting. So let me put this window in place. We'll do accents and stuff like that later. We are working on accents as we're going along. But we're going to need to light up this area. Thank you for the follow, NZ Wild. Thank you, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Let's put in... Like we did way back when. I'm going to have to deal with this. Hold on. Uh, before they rip down my whole base. Let's see what kind of food I have. Uh, eat that. Yeah, you guys all come over here, please, and thank you. Skeleton surprise. Yeah. 
The beauty of it all. At least it wasn't a troll raid, right? Attack of the skellies. Attack of the skellies. What is it, two minutes? I forgot how long it is. Use the hide behind the rock approach. <laughs> oh, come over here. They're tired of fighting, really? What wusses. He's not tired of fighting. They're not tired of fighting. Look, look at you guys. You guys aren't tired of fighting. Should have ran away with your buds. I gotta turn off all my deaths. Let me turn off all my deaths. There we go. <laughs> now you won't see my bodies all over the place. <laughs> hey, no looking at my body, man. Get off my body. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Let's get back into the house. Where we're safe. All right, I want to do like I did when I did the tower, the arcane tower. I want to do a shelf here. So let's let's put in a shelving system. Did I hear somebody roaming around? No. Okay. Let's put in a little shelving system here. Um I forgot how I did it to be honest with you. Didn't I just do a I think it was like a yeah, let's put it here. Let's offset it a little bit. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. Uh, uh you keep the skulls for, uh, there's a counter of sorts. They added that in. That's part of Hearth and Home. They added this, your deaths, and then they tell you the day in which you died on. And where you died. Right, so day one, we had an accident here. I, I slipped and fell. <laughs> I slipped on a rock and I fell. That's I'm sticking to that. That's exactly what happened. And then I came over here and another rock fell on top of me. Can you believe that? That was my day one. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny to have a stream and talk about all your deaths. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> am I leaving there on purpose? No, they, uh, as soon as you load up, they're there. You don't, you, you kind of don't have a choice. You, you get to see your shame right away. Let's see. I want to do a shelf here. Yeah, you right click to turn them off, right? Let's do a shelf here. That's going to be kind of close to this chest, but you know what? I, I'll deal with it. Let's do let's do a two level shelf. We'll do a two level shelf. And I know it kind of it's going to be funky with this window. Look, I get it. Oh, excuse me. I mean it. Hiccup burp or whatever that was in your ear. <laughs> I'm so happy for you to be here. No, really. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to hang with this. If I do a brazier, it's gonna look bad, right? Yeah, it just hangs down too low. Oh, look at that. That's like right in the middle of my way. And this is kind of supposed to be like a little mysterious area. Okay, let's put in... I'm gonna have to come and do the decorations later. I almost, to be honest with you... Well, what is it gonna look like if I go one more over? 
No. Yeah, I'd have to go half over is what I would have to do. I'd have to do a... Uh, Even though they say this is a one by one, there really needs to be a half by half. Is <laughs> what there needs to be. There needs to be a half piece. Should we do a three level shelf? I mean, if we're going to cover up the window, why don't we cover up the whole window? It's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's do it like this, and then that way it's kind of like it's a proper shelf, right? We're gonna put potions and stuff like that on there. Don't don't you worry. Don't you fret. We're gonna have some decorations, like we did in all the other rooms. We're gonna have some decorations. Um, let's not put down the good rugs because people are gonna spill their potions here. And let's come out like this. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and because you know it's going to take some time to brew potions and stuff, let's have a little seating area. So we can sit here and watch the potions brew. How big is the round table? Let's, I think the round table is kind of really big, right? Where's my, my workbench at? I had one over here. Let's, uh, let's go back. I think it's too large. I haven't put one down yet because they are so large. But let's see how big they are. Uh, okay, let's make this a little bit of a special area. Because I haven't put down this round table yet. Let's put down the round table here. If it looks too crowded, then... I'll do without. And let's put down some dark wood chairs around it. I mean, this is not really like a dining area, but... Let's just say... It's kind of... You know, potiony. So you are kind of working in some potion areas. So that would be neat. And then let's have. I guess we can have another chair here. I, I don't, don't want to encroach too much on the workspace, on the working area. And I really want to put this offset. Uh, grumble, 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 grumble. Grumble, grumble. I would like to put it, like, right here. Can I do that? And, like, merge it with... Not the whole way. How would I do that? Let's get rid of this right now. Yeah, there we go. We can lay it on here. Just like that. Okay, good. So let's back that one up. Back this one up. Let's get a thingamajig here and here. Oh, dang it. Not there. Come on. Stay on top. Thank you. And let's put a one piece here. That's going to snap in, right? Yep. And let's put one piece here. Good. That's went too far out. So let's snap in. Do you have to be on top of this thing? I do. Okay, that's where flying comes in. Snap that there. Good. And let's remove... I want a piece that goes right here. Good, and we'll get rid of this. This. This will come up. Good. And we'll do this, this, and this. And we're gonna have to fly a little bit. Let's 
get that top piece in. Uh oh, why aren't you not laying the way I want you to? Oh, I guess this one was a little offset too, but that's okay. Can can we really tell? I guess we can really tell, right? Just fix it. Is there another piece there? What was it snap? Yep, there was. Okay. And we'll snap to this one. Okay, good. And this one we need to snap. Bro Gaming, what's up, bud? How you doing, my friend? Uh, let's come back over here. I need a snap to this piece. Snap to that top piece like that. Let's get rid of these bottom ones. Snap across and across. Good. And let's fix the top and then we're all set. Then this, this has moved over the way I wanted it to be. here. Somewhere I went wrong. There we go. Good. Now that corner doesn't look so strange. It doesn't look so cramped. So I can move this torch actually. And we can put this torch in into an appropriate place. Which would be right here in this little corner. And be all happy. Yay, torchy. Good. This is going to look great with potions on it. Trust me, I've done it before. So you put a bunch of potions on there. Get them all glowing. Make it look all snazzy. And it looks fantastic. Let's put in, um, let's put in back here. Let's corner this, frame this out a little bit. Okay. And I don't want to frame it on the bottom. So let's frame each shelf piece. There we go. Good. Okay, potions will be there. We'll have a nice little table there. I think, um, I don't want to clutter it too much, but I almost feel like there has to be something here. What are you guys thinking? Maybe a little bench? Nah. I want to do a bench here. How about two little tables? Just to display some wares? I mean, they're not tables, they're stools, but they make great tables. Like end tables. Alright, I'm undecided about that, but I, I thought maybe this. Nah. I don't want to block the walkway. We'll decorate this. We'll decorate that. We'll have some potions on the ground in the front. I think that'll look good. That'll that'll make that pop. Alright, so over here. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Over on this side. Do I have all workstations down? The only thing I don't have is like smelting and stuff. But if I do smelting in here, 
I think the smoke is going to go into the upstairs. So if I put down like furnaces and stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'll just build a building outside for that. And of course for the windmills and stuff. Beehives, no. Obliterator, no. We have the stone area. We have all the other areas. We'll do all of the kiln related stuff outside. Okay, so what do I want to do with this? Hmm. I don't have a dining hall, right? I don't have like... Let's just take all this stuff and then trash this. So I don't have like a little dining area. Why don't we put that in? I like the long table. The long table is really sweet. Okay, let's do this. How about we do this? How about we put down... Uh, some of the thrones. Let's put down the thrones here. Let's give them a little end table so they can stick some stuff. Next to the throne. Should be kind of cool. And then let's do kind of like a little uh, banquet. This table might be too big. I almost feel that table's too big. Let's do a table in front of them. In front of the Jarl and whatnot. I'd like a narrow narrower table. Too bad the bench can't be kind of like a little table. It'd also be nice to have like a little footstool too. Wouldn't it? You know so many things would be really cool. Um, let's give them contrasting colors. I guess we can give them the wolf. I mean the white on white though is a little bit cheese ball. Okay, we can do that. And then let's give him a little... God, would that look wonky if I put down this as a table? Probably would look dumb, right? Because this table's kind of high. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I think I'm going to go with this as a table. I mean, it's not really a table. But, I'm gonna make it a table. I can put some stuff on there to kind of make it a table. Some drinks and a little bit of food and stuff. And then, let's get a big... Either a big table or do regular sized tables. But I think I think I want to do this large table. It would be awesome. Let's go with this large table down the middle. And I know the new chairs fit this a lot better. Uh, we can go with the new chairs. Uh, we'll do the new chairs. I might not go with this. I haven't decided yet. I almost like the leaning chairs a little bit more. I mean, why do they have such great stuff? Your guests, right? You, you should be... You should have, like... It should be less for you. You guys are the, the peons. You shouldn't have this nice stuff. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going for this. That's too nice for the... The Jarl should have the good stuff. The peons should not have the good stuff. Anubis, what's up, buddy? I'm glad to see you again, Elbowcough. What's up, my friend? How have you been? I 
does uh, the throne stack comfort with table and chairs? It probably doesn't. But we're not going. We're we're not going for um, comfort. We're going for aesthetics. We're going for kind of a theme here. Not necessarily for the comfort. Yeah, I, this this would not be the setup you're doing for comfort. You you lose some items. You lose some comfort because you're putting in the lower the lower level items. But you know, I'm I in my head I'm role playing this thing right now, and I'm like, okay, if I'm the Jarl, and I'm I'm, I'm thinking of more like, uh, it's ridiculous, but I'm thinking of uh, you ever see the show Viking, right? And so. The Jarls got the best stuff. They they are they are the guys. They got the best stuff. And everybody else does not. So it makes sense to me to do a table like this and give them the the lower end chairs. I mean, I could even give them benches, not even chairs. Should I give them benches? Well, let's think about that for a second. Today's your birthday? Turn 32? Well, happy birthday, man. Uh, see, the benches look too much... They look too much like the table design. Yeah, I'm not for the benches. I'm, I'm for these chairs. These chairs are alright. You can go with these chairs. Okay, I'm gonna deal with this. That's how I'm gonna do this. I am gonna put down some more, just a little bit more carpeting, so kind of over carpeting the, the wolf pelt so that it overflows just a little bit on the ground. I mean, I have a lot of decorating to do. There's no doubt about it. I've gotta put down a lot of item stands and I have to put down a lot of little mugs and some food and stuff and to make it look really good. But, if you guys have ever seen my video of decorating, man, I go, I go all out when I do the decorating. Okay, I really like that. I really like this setup. We need to have some additional things. Like, how about... Maybe this is counterintuitive, but how about the Jarl has his treasure chest? Sitting over here in the corner. Showing off his stuff, right? His little coin piles. I'd really love to see them have like a, you know... The personal chest looks nice with the treasure ones. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, how about we do a personal chest on the other side, though? Oh, we can do we can do a personal chest here. It's fine. Where's the front of this? Okay, that looks pretty cool. I think on the top. On the walls here, we'll, decor we'll decorate with skulls or some sort of trophy. On the side walls, we'll decorate with weapons and, and other good stuff. We're going to have to move all these chests. I'm, I'm not sold on this gateway being in here, but we can work with it. Okay, so we still need to flush this area out a little bit more. I like this for the the Jarl's personal space. Probably should have put it on a Diaz. 
Oh, should I elevated it? Put stairs to it? Damn it. Yes, of course I should have done that. Of course I should have given him an elevated little area. But will it look wonky? I would have to come out like this. And then move everything over. Hmm. Okay, well. Oops. Either that, or I could have put down like a wood extension there. Ah, oh, man. You know, these are the things you think about afterwards. That'd be like, what would be so much cooler would have this guy be elevated. Overlooking the table. Yes. We're going to fix it later. I'm not going to fix it right now. This is kind of a... Called a little mini blueprint. Because we're going to have to move these chests. You've been lurking and listening? Cool, man. Wow, man. You have four female rabbits and they created a total of 43 bunnies? Are you serious? Do you do you sell the rabbits or you just eat the rabbits? And then what's what's rabbit reproduction rate like? That's 43 bunnies every what? 3 months? Alright, it's coming along. It's it's looking okay. We still have a lot of work to do on the outside. So let's go back out here. Like, this needs... I, I still need to finish. I need to get rid of my scaffolding. I might change the roof. Which would take a long time, but I'm, I'm thinking about changing the roof. Um, vid guy put a window in here. Which I like symmetry so if he's gonna do a window like that I gotta go back and repair all the other windows uh, I need an entryway right here the entryway is gonna go into a dock gateway kind of thing is this creative or did I actually build the house from scratch okay it's 50-50 the outside of the house and the roof was done from vanilla. We had a bunch of people playing. They were supplying me wood. They were supplying me everything that I needed. And I built a scaffolding. And this whole thing was built in vanilla. You can go back and, and you can look at some of the older videos. Uh, then we got to the inside. And I was like, you know what? It would take way too long to do the inside the way that I want to do in vanilla mode, so why don't we just wait until we have unlocked these things, and then we'll go into creative and place them down. So that's exactly what we've done. All of these things have already been unlocked in vanilla mode, and now I'm going into creative and I'm just placing them down. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, doing both. We can breed them at six weeks. After they have a litter, it's best to wait till the females are six months old. And they can have up to 15 babies at a time. Wow. That's pretty good stuff, man. That's pretty good stuff. I, I like rabbit. Rabbit's really tasty. All right. I think that's good for me today. I, I did a lot. So let me just recap. We wound up starting with this little chest area, which we needed. 
and we worked on little accents in here and we came back and we reworked this uh the the forging station because it was a little bit too spread out so we made it a little bit more fitting into this this little dimension area and then turned around and worked on the cooking station area so we got the cooking station all set up and that's looking pretty good then we did the weaving and we also did the arcane station or the artisan table did another little storage area and then we got the fermentation uh place going and then we've got like the Jarl's kind of like dining area. This will be elevated. I am going to make a little like elevation pedestal thing to make this look cooler. And of course, we've got a ton of decoration to do. We still have a bunch of stuff to put down. All of this food stuff needs to be moved somewhere. And if I'm going to do a portal in here... Which makes sense because I, Vid spent a lot of time creating the portal hub, which the portal hub is all the way over here for those of you who haven't seen the portal hub. I mean, Vid and, and all those guys, they've done some amazing work and they do it all in vanilla. They're, they're diehard vanilla guys. So this is all done in vanilla. I've only been the I'm 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 the only one that's been cheating. <laughs> I just don't have hours and hours and hours to spend. So this is the portal hub. So that that portal goes to here. This is the old farm, the old building that we worked on before we got the ark built. So still some stuff to do. I mean, there's a lot to do with what we call the ark. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Breathe them again six to eight weeks after having the babies. Wow. So essentially every two months, you can have 43 babies. And how long does it take a baby rabbit to grow into an adult? I'm saying six months? Six months to be an adult? And how much do they weigh? I mean, it depends on what kind of rabbits you're breeding, right? They could be like big giant fat ones or are they like the smaller ones? I'm a fan of rabbit. If you've never had rabbit before, you guys should try rabbit. Rabbit tastes good. They're so easy to clean too. Like to take their fur off and stuff. Like one of the easiest animals to skin. Okay, once we're down, done with downstairs, we need to work on our upstairs. We need to make our upstairs, beautify our upstairs a little bit better. This is everybody's like little apartment. We need to beautify it. We need to put in a, you know, a nice little seating area, a stationary holding area. And, uh, and then I need to work on my own internal kind of room scenario. But that's for later. Today was the big day to getting majority of this completed. Really would love to have the mod that keeps, you know, the torches on all the time. That would be nice. All right. So that's it. That's it for me. I appreciate you guys joining me. Thanks again for the raid. You guys have a wonderful evening. Everybody have a great day. Great tomorrow. Great everything. I had fun playing Valheim. It's been a while since we played Valheim. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit of days gone. I mean, I've been out for a couple weeks with my neck injury. So, days gone's tomorrow. And then uh, Thursday, I think we're doing a little bit of Windsward. We'll see what the turnout is for Windsward. If the turnout's not great for Windsward, we can always go back to doing uh, like Valheim or something like that. Or maybe we could do a little bit of Ashenir. We haven't done Ashenir in a long time. I do have a project that I want to get started and completed before they release. So that would be nice to do. With what happened to Ron, though, I don't know that I want to publicize this. I, I almost feel like I want to just show it when it's done. Because I don't want somebody to copy it and steal it. Take my idea and try to make it their own. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
At any rate. Bye. 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 <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you later.